Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Camila and welcome to a new speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are building a cottage in the brand new world that's not so new anymore maybe. Um, Hanford on Bagley and yeah, this is the world that came with the cottage living expansion pack and yeah, we're building a cottage and as you probably already know from the title and from the thumbnail, we are building something for a single father and his son um, who's a kid and yeah it's just the two of them plus a bunch of pets and I had a lot of fun building this cottage I have to say it's one of my favorite builds that I've done uh, recently mostly because of how cozy it is um, it's not anything like out of this world anything too special it's just a simple cottage but it's really cozy you'll see once we get to the interior especially and I don't know, I just got this really nice, warm and cozy vibes from it and so I'm really happy to be sharing it with you guys today and yeah, tell me how you are liking this pack because I am enjoying it so far and I also did a bunch of gameplay uh, in my own free time so uh, I have to say I really like it and yeah, also tell me what you think about the new kit that came out like last week on Thursday um, which is pretty brand new still. I haven't uh, purchased it. I don't think I'm gonna because yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for them to fix the different issues that we have with the new kit and then I'll, I will see because I really like the style of the new kit. It's like totally up my alley because industrial style is like my style in real life like I dream uh, of having one one day maybe an industrial house or like yeah an industrial interior at least because yeah um, industrial buildings are not a really big thing where I live so yeah I don't think I'm gonna live in a, like a uh, repurposed warehouse or anything like that unfortunately so yeah I will just uh, focus on the interior I think and yeah the objects that I saw that came with the new kit are like perfect for this and for m my personal style yeah as I was mentioning but yeah I'm just gonna wait for them to fix the different uh, issues that are happening with the new kit so and then we'll see but tell me about you did you buy it how are you liking it is it good is it not good um, yeah tell me all about it in the comments because I'm really looking forward to reading your opinions on this so that I can get a better idea of this new kid um, yeah so I took a little break from the Sims in general I think and from content in general, I haven't watched a lot of speed builds as I'm used to uh, in the past uh, couple of weeks and I think I'm kind of, um, I don't know how to say it, like I'm here and I'm ready to get back into the game, into building and I have a bunch of new ideas for some builds that you will hopefully see in the next weeks. I think that if I am able to, I would love to release like two speed builds every week instead of just one. Uh, I think it would be so fun and yeah, I think I can do it, like it's not something impossible so let's see if I stick to the plan or if something happens and I cannot stick to it. But yeah, um, I don't know why, but I haven't... Oh, I know why, because I, I've i been like binge watching a TV show and so basically everything like got postponed last week because I was so into this show, and which is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, by the way. Um, it's a show from the 90s that I haven't uh, ever seen. I think I saw it, like when I was a kid, maybe I probably saw it um, every now and then because maybe it was airing on, on the TV like uh, here in Italy, but I haven't actually like watched it. Um, but yeah, when I heard for the first time like the theme song, I kind of recognized it, like something in my memory, in my brain. Uh, said oh yeah I know this song so probably I just maybe I watched one or two episodes some years ago like many many years ago and now I'm watching it on 
uh, Prime video and yeah, I think that on the 31st uh, of August they're gonna remove it from Prime Video so I kind of binge watched it and I'm watching season 3 currently and so yeah please don't do any spoilers because you will be blocked and karma will haunt you forever if you spoil something for me um, <laughs> so thank you very much um, but yeah I have to say that I'm really enjoying it and I think I'm gonna just watch it on Disney Plus once they are gonna like take it from Prime Video because I think that my brother activated a temporary account on Disney Plus because yeah we don't have it currently like a Disney Plus um, membership but we are just we kind of started a couple of months of um, subscription because we wanted to watch Loki and we wanted to watch also some other movies like Luca and Raya I think yeah so yeah I'm probably just gonna move over there and watch it on Disney Plus once it's like it's not on Amazon anymore but yeah this is not the point of the video as you can see I basically furnished the entire house it's very cozy as I was telling you in the beginning of the video um, I don't have like a clear idea for the personalities of the Sims I just think that they are very close to one another the father and the son uh, the son is very into nature into animals and he likes to take care of his pets and the father is just very caring he's into a lot of like um, manual stuff like um, netting like cooking taking care of the animals and things like that so yeah I think they are very like perfect for this house here and I just think they are a cute family that I think they kind of suffered in the past I don't think that the mother is like dead or anything I think that she just left for some reason so it's not like a, a very positive figure maybe she is around still maybe she visits once in a while but I actually thought that she doesn't like she just left and never came back um, and so they had to learn how to live on their own without uh, a member of the family. I think maybe the kid was just a toddler when she left, so he doesn't actually remember her at all. And I think this is a very sad thing, but at the same time, I think that the dad does everything in his power to like make the childhood, the son's childhood, as happy as possible and as carefree as possible. I don't know if carefree is like the right term, but yeah, without any issues, a happy childhood. He's trying to give him a happy childhood. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. And I think that he's succeeding at this because I think the kid overall is a very happy kid, uh, despite everything that, ha that happened in this family. But anyway, we are coming to the end of the video, so I really hope that you enjoyed this little sweet build today. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are very, very close to 600 subscribers, so yeah, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed, if you liked this video. And yeah, have a great day, I will see you in the next video, and bye everybody.